Got a genetically enhanced giant carnivorous worm with tunneling abilities loose on your private island. This species should be left to die. What exactly? Oh, 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 oh yeah, that is the latest from Tremors, Shrieker Island. I'm so excited. I've got actor and fellow Chicagoan, well, former Chicagoan Michael Gross here with me with some details about the newest installment. Good morning. Good morning. Just in time for Halloween, huh? monsters. I know. I'm so excited. Well, you've been playing Burt Gummer in this series for what, like three decades now, right? 30 years. Who would have guessed? I mean, um, as I've said in the past, uh, had I wanted steady work, I would have done something else for a living. But here I am 30 <laughs> years later, the seventh film in this franchise and really enjoying the hell out of it. I tell you, I'm having a great time. This is a wonderful character. He's uh, he's like mining comic gold for people who who, who haven't seen yeah. uh, the Tremors movies. I should say it's uh, this guy is an obsessive, compulsive, <laughs> paranoid, right wing survivalist, uh -huh. doomsday prepper. And he is so extreme that <laughs> it results in comedy. OK, <laughs> you know, he's he's great. He's wonderful. So, Michael, you're saying he's very close to you in real life, right? Is that what you're saying? Not my, not my this is the way my this is the way my wife knows me. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so how is it playing that character? I mean, how do you even get stuff done? Are you laughing the entire time? Well, I am I am laughing quite a bit, but I mean it's it's interesting because one of the, the, the one of the greatest <laughs> comic things about him is that he has no sense of humor. So everything everything about him is so deadly serious yeah. that, that what that's what makes him funny. So, my job is to stay deadly serious all the time. Um, I, I, Jenny, I honestly don't know how it's, how it survived for this, this <laughs> period of time, because it was not a, the original, which came out in 1990, right? 1990 yeah. was not a huge hit in the theaters, although it starred Kevin Bacon, Reba McIntyre, myself, Fred Ward, wonderful cast of people. Um, it didn't really catch on until after that in the in the video market that's where it really caught on and we, we got these rabid fans and they keep coming back god bless them and um i think it's i think it's i don't know i think it's a good-hearted monster movie now let me explain that i guess what i mean is um it's an old-fashioned film and family friendly in a way because Human beings don't kill each other in this movie. This is not a slasher film. They're, you know, the chainsaws and all that sort of thing. People in danger. People are in danger, not from other people, but from monsters. The good guys are the human beings. The bad guys are the monsters. In that respect, it's, it's very old fashioned. And I, I've been thinking a lot about COVID lately too, as is everybody, because I think it's, it's somewhat instructive that in all these seven films, you always take a disparate, crazy, uh, offbeat group of people who would not, let alone, who would not talk to each other, let alone be friends, who say, look, let's all bury our differences right now. Yeah. We'll get back to that later. Bury the hatchet and, and defeat a common enemy. Enemy, yeah. As different as we are, different skill sets, different ways of looking at the world. Yeah. So all these wonderful, crazy people come together and def to defeat this monster, these monsters. And so in that respect, it's like a, an old fashioned fifties monsters movie, yeah. you know, I love a it. kinder, and gentler monster movie. Right. Well, and you know, uh, apropos to the times where our common monster is COVID-19, um, you know, I'm super excited about Tremors, but I have to, I'm really excited because I used to watch you. You played Stephen Keaton, if people don't know, on Family Ties. And that was one of my favorite shows growing up. You're probably, I'm, I'm surprised you're old enough uh, to, to, <laughs> to remember that because that was some 30 years ago. But then that, that, was, an, that was another great piece where uh, in those political differences in the family yeah. were great. Yes. We had a son who was extremely conservative. The parents were children of the 60s. And yet again, we found the common love. So I, I think to myself, wow, I've been a part of two big franchises that have, that have, that are all about reconciliation in a funny way. And I'm, I'm very proud to have been a part of that because I love that, uh, I love that, and I'm the, be the best writing, the one, most wonderful cast, Michael J. Fox, Meredith yeah. Baxter, Justine Bateman, Such Tina Yothers, I mean, and great, great writers. My instinct uh, is to say, Michael, that you're uh, lucky, but you're not lucky because you worked your butt off and you're part of like a huge cult classic cult classic which has stand stood the test of time and such a great you know 80s show so good for you
Well, I was, uh, look, I was blessed. It's that simple. You know, uh, these things that fell into my lap and I was just happy I was there at the right time. Let's put it that way. Um, where can people go to learn more about Tremors Shrieker Island? Where can we oh, watch it? Yes. What do we do? This, this uh, Tremors Shrieker Island is available. If you can find it, it'll be back. People have told me it's sold out in places like Walmart and Target. and It's sold out within days. Oh, gosh. We're in the top five of Netflix where you can also download it. Nice. So it has been, it's, uh, so retailers will have it, you know, I'm thinking Best Buy and Target and Walmart, yeah. those sorts of things, yeah. Amazon probably. Uh, and it's selling like hotcakes. It's, uh, I'm, thr I'm, th I'm thrilled at the response and it is, it's a lot of fun, it really is. Well, I'm excited for you and I was really excited to chat with you because you're a former fellow Chicagoan as well. So I feel yeah. like Yeah, and we're both North Siders. Does that mean you're a Cubby fan? Yes, I lived right by Wrigley Field. When I lived there. Oh, you did? Oh, you were in Wrigleyville. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know that neighborhood very well. I had an aunt who lived there for many years and excited as I am about the Cubs winning the pennant, I was thrilled about the Dodgers. Sorry, Padre fans. Sorry to bring that up. <laughs> a lot of Midwesterners and Chicagoans here in California, so I'm sure they can relate. Michael, thank you for spending so much time with us, and good luck on Tremors. Well, I mean, it's out now, so hopefully everybody watches it this Halloween weekend. Thank you. May I mention one other thing, and that Amen. is there's a Christmas film coming out on UPTV. It's called A Ring for Christmas. I also love Christmas movies, very different from the monster th monster stick. And this is uh, November 8th on UPTV, awesome. A Ring for Christmas. Yay, so we have that to look forward to as well. Michael, thanks again. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Pleasure's mine. Bye-bye.